all praises to the Most High Yah and Yeshua HaMashiach that strengthens us, our Messiah and our King. Hallelujah. Hey, Acts 10. Cornelius. I'm not going, I'm not going the rudimentary way, the normal way on Acts 10. Um, I think we all know at this point, Peter's great sheep vision <clears throat> was not about food, it was about people. So that's why I say Cornelius. Acts 10 was more about Cornelius being an Italian, not an Israelite or a Jew, as people think Peter was. But uh, the whole point of, I will say this, the whole point of him using clean and unclean animals, if you'll read the first part of Acts 10, when Peter went up onto the roof, he was hungry, and they were preparing the food. So the best thing I can see is, is Yah met Peter where he was at with the sheep vision. He was hungry, had food on his mind, so he sent him a sheep with clean and unclean animals, said, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Now, that's not the part that 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 is that is really detrimental to that whole chapter and some of chapter 11 too, man. You have to read all these things. Cornelius was an Italian. He was a Roman soldier or an Italian soldier, however you want to play that. He was what they called a proselyte. Now, a proselyte was one of another nation who was coming into the covenant of Yah, who is who is who knows Yeshua Hamashiach and has had the circumcision of the heart through the, through his fates in in the son of Elohim. And you know, he uh the most high needed Peter to go to Cornelius' house to give him some instruction um, and to baptize him, uh, regardless of whether he was circumcised or not, because the circumcision of the heart is what, what means it. Doesn't mean that you don't get circumcised later or whatever. But when you get into that, uh like I said, Cornelius was 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 a Gentile who loved the Messiah, loved Yah's people, all that good stuff. And he needed some counsel from Peter. Um, and that's who Yah chose to send to him. So that, that was the whole point of all of that, was for Peter to go give him some instructions, baptize him. They received the Holy Spirit, him and his whole house. The other Yehudims that were there marveled at the fact that these Gentiles have just received the Ruach HaKadosh just like we did. And they've not been circumcised. It was confusing to them uh, because of their their uh, the way they looked at things, I guess you could say. Um, but that's what that chapter is actually about. And and I didn't want to go. I, like I said, I didn't want to go the regular route with with the whole sheep vision and everything um, because that's so easily debunked by just all you got to do is line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Well, if you've already read Leviticus 11, you know what food is, and you know how the Most High Yah feels about unclean things going into our body. So that should debunk that right off the bat, but, you know, most people don't have that when they read it because they're taught a certain way. But the whole point of Acts 10 was that Cornelius was one of another nation who was coming into covenant with Yah through Yeshua HaMashiach, the proper way, with the proper order. In order to learn the proper way, he needed an Israelite to come and teach him the proper way. See, there's an order to this thing. Yah has an order for the Gentiles coming in. You have to learn from an Israelite, or you're not gonna learn the proper way. If you're going to these places where you're just learning that all you gotta do is believe, and nothing changes, and you don't receive the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, you're just as lost as you was before that point, maybe even more so. So just thought I'd throw that out there. You know, Acts 10, stop looking at the sheep vision. Look at what, the, look at what that chapter is talking about. It's very, very important because it's those places in the Bible, in the, in the Renewed Covenant writings, where Yah is telling you how the Gentiles grafted in. And that anyone who is of the Yehudim can't call someone unclean that Yah has cleaned, has cleansed. You're cleansed once you come to, in through the proper channels and the proper faith and the proper Messiah. 
you're cleansed at that point. Doesn't mean that you won't mess up because you don't know some things, but you're gonna learn if you have a true heart. So just thought I'd give you that real quick. It, it was just on my mind. You know, I sit here at, you know, I don't wanna make it sound like I don't do my job while I'm at work, but on Mondays while I'm at work, with the job that I have, I have little intervals of time where I'm kind of sitting here watching what it is I'm doing and I can kind of sit in the truck. So, you know, don't want people to think I'm just not working. I'm, I just have one of those jobs to where I can do this on a certain day of the week. Now, after this, you won't see me no more until Sabbath because uh, I just don't have, I don't have the time after that. We're hustling and bustling. But, uh, hey, I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody had a great Sabbath. And I hope things are going Yah's way for you. Not your way, but Yah's way. Love the Father and love the Son. And love people. Love y'all out there. See ya.